What's up guys, after the Beat Saber multiplayer release on October 13, 2020, many of you have lost all your mods, but some mods have begun to return and the virtual Beat Saber world seems to be a happier place. Though I and many others have experienced some issues downloading what mods there are in Mod Assistant due to our previous Mod Assistant versions. So I will be covering how to do a clean install of the mods, which is highly recommended, add custom songs, playlists, as well as updates and troubleshoots you need to be aware of. Let's go. First, open up Mod Assistant if you are a previous user. Go to Options, Open Folder, and we are going to copy and paste all our custom folders outside of the Beat Saber folder, plus our playlists and custom songs, which is located in Beat Saber Data folder as custom levels. If you want to keep your local scores, go to Options, Open app data, enter the folder, and select these three files to drop them off later. Next, delete the entire Beat Saber folder, which is different from uninstalling the game as at times it won't remove the files. Proceed to uninstall the game whether you got it from the Oculus or Steam store. I will quickly show you how to do it and we'll have it down below in the description. For Oculus, go to the library, find the game, click on the three dots, then uninstall. For Steam, go to the library, right click on the game, manage and uninstall. Next, reinstall it. Go to bsaber.com, mods, PC mods and select mod assistant. Download the mod assistant.exe file and run it. It will try to locate your bsaber game folder and if it can't, you will have to manually locate it. If you don't remember where it is, I will have the instructions down in the description to find it in Oculus or Steam. Run Mod Assistant and you will get this welcome page. But before we go any further, run BSaber once, close it, come back here and click I agree to move forward. Options tab, make sure your install folder is correct to where your game is located, then check mark every single box. Click on Enable One Click Install, which will save you so much time downloading songs and later sabers, avatars, and platforms when they become available. Uncheck everything and recheck them as I had an issue where it wasn't allowing me to use it unless I did this. And leave Show One Click Installer Window on Yes. You'll see why soon enough. Go to Mods tabs and there will already be pre-checked mods waiting to be installed and any other mods you want, you can check them as well. Mods are still being added, but the pre-checked mods are very necessary to make everything else work. Also, Beat Saver Downloader will allow you to download songs from in the game, so you can check that, but I will be showing you another way. Make sure you have the latest version of the mod as indicated in green, meaning up to date and red is out of date. Read the description to the side of what the mod does, and you can highlight it and press Mod Info for more information. Click Install or Update where it will start downloading. Once it is done, you can start Beat Saber up, go back, open folder, and you will see the mods in there. You can also run the IPA file while the game is not running, if it didn't read, or restart your PC to have them show up. Also drop in your local scores back into app data to have them appear. Time to bring back those custom folders we saved to drop them into the games folder. Make sure to drop them off in the appropriate places. Restart the game and the custom songs now called custom levels will be there for you to play. If you want custom songs, go to bsaber.com songs and search whichever songs you want. A quick overview of the icons from left to right. Sync Saber utilizes the Sync Saber mod will be sent to your game. Twitch icon will copy the song code that you can post on your favorite Twitch streamers chat to play a specific song if they have the song request manager mod. Down arrow will download the song files and you have to manually drop them into custom levels folder. Cloud icon is for the one click install feature I mentioned a while back. This is what we will be using for our downloads. User icon plays the song on your browser and play button will show you a preview of the song map. Let's click on the one Click install and the installer window will pop up if you enabled it in Mod Assistant. Like I said before, it will give you visual confirmation that's installed. For playlists, go to playlist tab, create a playlist, pick the one you want, then click download. 
back into mod assistant options install playlist and locate the playlist file to have the songs downloaded into the game eventually the playlist loader mod will appear back on mod assistant which loads any playlist you drop into your folder and reads the songs but this is another way to have those songs be imported directly to custom levels instead of being read in the playlist folder I'd rather do this so if my playlist can't be read, I already have the individual songs in custom levels. Now let's say you have technical problems like mods aren't working. Here are some things you need to think about. Was there a recent update to Beat Saber? Updates will hinder mods, sometimes throwing them out of the game folder, which is the most hopeful situation because then you can drop them back in or just allowing them to work, hence they individually need to be updated by the modders. Then you have to make sure that all your mods are going to be uh, in the right places because if you have them in the wrong folders that can prevent the mod from working or even crash the game. If a certain mod is broken and causing problems, it is best to uninstall it via mod assistant and wait for a functioning version. Another last resort is to reach out to the B-Saber modding group discord going into the appropriate help channels and asking for help. Be specific to your problem as much as you can. The more details, the better so moderators or others can help identify the problem. If moderators are asking for your logs, go to Mod Assistant, Options, Open Logs, Simple, Select All, Copy, then paste it into the channel, which it will make into a text file. I am still reviewing if my other tutorials are working or they will be needing an update, but I'll let you guys know via the title including the game version which we are at 1.12.2. Any other general or troubleshoot information for PC and Quest users, the link will be in the description. Thank you guys for tuning in, I'm your boy D Legionnaire, signing out, peace.